Um, I want to, I just want to make a short video about the keyword in JavaScript, return. Um, I remember when I was learning to program, I had the same problem that many people have, uh, apparently many people have, like what does it mean to return something? So hopefully you know what a function is. And a function is kind of like its own little mini program, right? So I'm gonna call it like function add. So like I'm gonna take like num1 and num2. And like I could, I'm gonna go in here and like console.log, you know what? It would be easier if I just say like let sum equal num1 plus num2. And then I could console.log sum, right? Um, and oh, I need to call it um, add three, four. I get seven, right? So cool, like this function does something, it creates a variable and it console logs it. However, a pure function, like if you think about, so a function is a mathematical concept, right? It's a, um, like, um, a function is, be a function of something like seven is the product of this function and uh, uh you know what? i'm trying to be all fancy and i don't remember the exact terminology but it really it's a math it's primarily a mathematical concept so if you have a value and you apply it to a function you will receive back a new value so the, a function is a processor. Um, if you think of like a parabola, right? Like in, in, um, in, in, math, in mathematics, in you know, graphs, you, know, you, you put in a, a, a value and then you get back out a value in a parabola that shows you how, like, how those values change because the function you know, does, returns a new value. Um, so a pure function a pure function will always return the same, the same, if you put in the same value, it'll always give you back the same new value. A pure function has um, an input and an output. Now, when you get into like programming, if you do like a lot of object oriented programming, you do a lot, you see a lot of stuff like this, right? Where like, console log sum for like you might do like you know like let num1 equal num2 oh no, sorry let num1 equal 3 and you know here like you know object doing programming you're going to you're going to add one you're going to um you're going to get one number directly inputted into this function but you're going to have some existing data somewhere else that you are using as well. So you're kind of mixing and matching. Oh, I, oh, of course, this is not going to work because that's not the code. Um, you know, I still get seven down here. So a pure function has an input and an out, output. And in JavaScript, simply put, the keyword return is how you do that output. So if I, I want to return sum. So I'm going to put num1 num back here, num1, and three, four, and now when I run this, nothing happens, oh wait, 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 oh, because I have the console log here, let me run that console log, now, it doesn't look like anything happened, right, there's no console log, because this function is not, that function doesn't console log. Um, it's a pure function. It returns, it outputs a value. So, and we can see that here. So, let my sum equal this value. And then if I, and my sum is going to receive the value that this add function outputs. So if I console.log my sum equals my sum and 
my semicolon seven. So, um, so the return, the return value, return is what outputs the, the value. Now, um, if you're doing lots of like state management and you're doing lots of global variables, um, returning may not be seem to be that important. However, um, return is very important. It's really important to understand um, what functions return. Um, I'll give you a personal example. One time I was make I had to make a grid. Um, so I want like I was gonna have like a grid of it was actually like a battleship game. So I was gonna have a grid. And I wanted to output this grid in such a way. Um, but I couldn't I just could not get this code to work. I could not get the code to work. And because I so I had an array of coordinates, you know, like row one, column two, and um, you know, so I had all these coordinates, and um, I kept trying to, um, I kept trying, I was using the map method, right? So, like, if I had these map, I was mapping something, and I could not figure out why this wasn't working. And I was doing something just like this. So, let's say, um, actually, um, this is not right. It's really fast. Anyway, well, however, the, however the data was structured, it doesn't matter. Um, and function value and yeah, like do something, right? So I have this, I have this array. Uh, this is all sorts of nasty. There we go. Um, and like you know, I was executing like this, and this has happened so many times, which is why I'm dragging the story out. Because if I go to array map JS, if I go to the documentation and look at it, um, now I've learned to what is the return value? A new array. So, for um, why is this relevant to what I'm talking about? Because if I'm doing this, this is not going to do anything. Let me see. Obviously, val is like um, return. Um, val index zero plus val index one. This is what I it. Um, so like right now, nothing's going to happen because this returns a new array. So I let return value equal this. It's important to know what this method returns. What does it return? Three and seven. So it's like three, you know, one plus two is three, and three plus four is seven. Um, heck, you know what I should have done? I should have uh, done uh, return add. So now I'm going to call the add method on each of these numbers. And so because map returns a new value. Um, so long story short, the the main thing here is that return um, return outputs a value from this execution block. From this this function has an execution block. It's the opening and closing parentheses, uh, cur curly braces. Um, and there's another important characteristic of the return keyword is that once a function returns, it exits the function. It does not execute any more code in that execution block. So let's see, like return some um, console.log. This will never get logged. And, you know, because, and why won't it ever get logged? Um, because the, the, the function exits. It um it when the when it once it returns it completes so this code is there um uh, I want a different key different uh there we go so now if I do it it will because this is before the return so return and that's why you um sometimes is it's 
it's really common to see like exit conditions like if num1 is greater than 2 um, return right or like um, or or uh, if no, um, not num2 so it's like if num2 is either 0 or it's just not there um, it'll just return and won't do anything right so like 3 7 undefined this one returned nothing because 3 is greater than 2 right here so like it said like hey if number 1 is greater than 2 which the right here it is um, it just returns which means and a function by default returns undefined every function by default returns undefined um, which was like function nada it's like this function doesn't do anything right it literally is just just an execution block if I say like let what did nada output equal nada right and I console dollar that what did nada output boom undefined I can reach out like this there's a function every function by default returns undefined so whether you have a return statement or not it's going to return undefined so it's best to like you know um, you know ah, I mean, you don't always have to return something um, there's there's plenty of cases when you don't return but you should know what is being returned um, undefined or a value so right, there you go um, that is the basics of return in, in a nutshell. Um, hopefully that's helpful.